breaking. Boko Haram fighters currently attacking Borono community. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The insurgents came in several trucks fitted with machine guns on Saturday evening. Insurgents from the Islamic backed faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West African Province, formerly known as Jam Jamaat al, -Al Sunai Le Dawa Wal Jihad are currently attacking Jiri. Attacking Ajiri. Ajiri is a community in Mara local government area of Borno State, which is about 52 kilometers from Maiduguri, the state capital. Maiduguri is resident to Maiduguri resident to again. These people have been in the news and not for good news. The only time they were in the news for good news was when I think the governor of Kogi State was actually, okay, Buhari actually went down there so that he would commission some things. And I'm saying, how can these people be suffering from insurgency and their government is building things? Me, I'm saying no now. It's not supposed to be. Why? Because I feel at the end of the day, the insurgents will still blow off and waste the resources. I'm feeling like at the end of the day, just like your house is actually being carried away by flood flood is ruining your house and you're trying to do the roof once you allow the flood to subside as and let it be that the rainy season pass away before you now say okay so i can even see clearly and be able to do some things right your house is actually on fire and you're trying to fix it at the end of the day the fire that is that even if it is it is a spark somewhere don't you think that it can engulf the whole building and at the end of the day, even that new new thing you're fixing it will, will all go to waste. That was what I said then. But I know people have been in the news for the most, the most, how am I going to put it? They have been in the news and this is not for good news. Sincerely, my heart goes after them. I don't even know how they survive. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it and they live day in, day out. I can't imagine, you know, living in fear for the rest of your life. On Monday, you're living in fear. On Tuesday, you're living in fear. On Wednesday, you're living in fear. On Thursday, you're living in fear. On Friday, you're living in fear. On Saturday, on Sunday, just like that, day in, day out, you're going to the farm, you're scared. Your children are playing outside, you're scared. There is nothing that you would do that you'll not be scared. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't even know what Bruno people do. Just hope a time will come where all these things will be so blurry. As in, all this kind of news will be so blurry. And at the end of the day, Nigeria will be better again. Okay, the news in detail. Please stay with us. A source told Tahara reporters that the insurgents came in several trucks fitted with machine guns on Saturday evening. Meanwhile, troops of the Nigerian army are currently engaging the armed men. In a gun battle, the source added. Since the death of Jazz leader Baba Kashekau, our ESWAP has been consolidating its grip in locations around Lake Chad. Recently, it appointed Wiley Sani Shuwaram, a 45 year old, as the new leader, Wiley of Ishwa, in Lake Chad. The sex membership has swollen with the defection of hundreds of Boko Haram fighters under Shekau. The Nigerian army has repeatedly claimed that insurgency has been largely defeated and frequently underplays any losses. The tower group has cost over 50,000 deaths and displaced millions of people, mainly in about Adamawa, Bronu, and Yobe states. Sincerely, I don't know when such news will cease. Just when you think, oh, at the end of the day, you're not hearing any good news for the day, any bad news. All of a sudden, you know, you hear, if it is not Bruno, it is Zamfara. If it is not Zamfara, it is another state. What, what exactly is going on? What is going on? Is the Nigerian army away? Please tag them now. Civilians now get information on attacks faster than the army. What is this? What is this supposed to, what is, what is this supposed to mean? While Nigerian army is busy burning houses in Imo state and media is not reporting the atrocities happening in Imo, 
because they have received peanut money from the government. It is very sad. It's very sad. We are the Tucano Jets. Are we not deceiving ourselves in this country? Well, at the end of the day, uh, like I said, buying of Tucano Jets is not going to solve any problem. Even if they buy more, the problem will still not be solved. Unfortunately, the soldiers who should be there to curtail them are all in the south is where they are not needed. Another youth will not protest against the killings, kidnappings, raping in their, re in their region. But at the mention of Nam de Kano, all will come out to protest against him. Even those who do not know what is being written in and what they are displaying. And those from IDB camps who did, who did this to them. <laughs> At the end of the day, I am surprised Boko Haram still exists, General Buhari. They punch newspaper. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's not funny. These brown people know they relocate for their safety. Maybe they plant them there. Government does not care about them, using them to do dex experiments. Yet they feel relaxed and hoping on few government. My dear, at the end of the day, I don't even understand what actually is going on. These brown people, they're always in the news, and my heart is sincerely going out to them. Hoping that just one day, where, where will they relocate to? Where will they relocate to? Where will they go to? Where exactly will they go to? At the end of the day, they cannot go anywhere. Just like something is happening in Nigeria, and you're saying, Can Nigerians move? Yes, I yeah, know. Yeah. But where did, where, where did they want to go to? Where did they want to go to? And truly, the government does not care about them. Sincerely, they don't. Because if they do, something would have been done about it. Which other place is safe in the north? You keep hearing if it's not Zamfara today, it is brand new. If it is not brand new, at least now Zamfara and Bronya are the two most targeted places. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that everywhere is safe in the north. Though there are some particular states in the north that these insurgency have not gotten to. But don't you think that it is, <laughs> that it's also safe? Other states where these things are happening now, they also thought they were safe. But the thing is, bottom line, these people don't have anywhere to go. And the government has continued to prove to them that they don't care about them. Unfortunately, we can't send our condolences to them and hope that everything gets cool soon. Nigeria is hot. Nigerians are hot. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.